Good morning. I'm Congresswoman Jackie Spear, and it's my privilege to welcome you today to the beautiful campus of the College of San Mateo. I want to thank Chancellor Ron Galatolo and President Mike Clare for hosting us here in this beautiful brand new facility. This is the fifth Job Hunters Boot Camp that I've sponsored since January of last year. More than 3,000 people have now moved through this program, many with great success stories. But this is the first one that I haven't been able to attend in person. As you know, I'm here in Washington, D.C., working to avoid a shutdown of the federal government. No one wins if that happens. On a more positive note, the job outlook today is the best that we've seen in some time. In fact, since we started holding these boot camp programs. Last week, unemployment filings were down by 10,000, and last month, 216,000 jobs were added. Bottom line, companies are finally starting to hire. After months and months of so-called jobless recovery, CEOs and presidents of companies are optimistic and confident enough to staff up now and to hire independent contractors. According to a survey by the Bay Area Council, the best place to look for a job right now is in San Francisco, on the peninsula, and in Silicon Valley. This boot camp is proof that the employment prospects are improving. We have the most extensive and diverse list of employers we've ever had. 29 employers here today, and they're hiring. We're very excited to have Facebook here. It's looking for almost 300 people as it moves its headquarters from Palo Alto to Menlo Park. Microsoft is here, and it has 80 open positions in the Bay Area. Virgin America is back again, and we thank them for doing so, and it's looking for 1,000 new hires. Genentech needs almost 300 new people in South San Francisco. Intuit is looking for almost 100 people in California, and Kaiser Permanente plans to add close to 3,000 new employees. Joie de Vere Hotels is hiring over 100 new employees. I'm pleased to have a local paper here for the first time. The San Mateo Daily, Daily Journal is looking for salespeople. And Tethys Bioscience is looking to fill nine positions. You can find a complete list of employers in your program. This is all great news. But you know better than anybody, it is extremely competitive out there. You have to stand out and be at your best. And that's exactly what we will help you achieve today. We will teach you the skills you need to land your next job. Many of you in this room are highly qualified. Some of you are probably overqualified. I encourage you to think of skills in a different way. Don't only think about the technical and intellectual skills you need to perform a job. Think about the social skills. Think about enthusiasm, open-mindedness, sincerity, curiosity, and confidence that you project when you meet with a potential employer. There is no better way to explain this than with a real example. John Abramson attended the very first boot camp I held in January last year. He was approaching one year of unemployment. He had spent his entire career in the restaurant industry, was approaching age 50, and had a young son. He was getting very discouraged and didn't know where to turn. Boot camp, he said, gave him the shot in the arm he needed. He landed a job two weeks later with a major food distributor. John was scheduled to be here today to tell his story, but he called me yesterday to say that he had, quote, the biggest deal in his lifetime going down, unquote. He's obviously doing very well. You could be the next John Abramson after this boot camp. Use today to be inspired and get re-energized. We always work on improving and adjusting the program to meet the demands of a changing job market. We've added a new focus this time around, a special section to help veterans transition into a new career. How many veterans do we have here today? Please stand up and let's give them a huge round of applause for the service they have provided to our country. We have two workshops three hours of focused presentations designed to make your military experience work for you, not against you. We also have veterans groups here to assist you with questions about education and military preference points. Looking for work is a full-time job that can be frustrating, especially for those of you who have been looking for work for a year or more. How many of you have been out of work for six months? For a year? For two years? 
I know it's tough, but you've got to hang in there. You can't give up. Things are getting better, and you can count on me and my staff to continue to provide this kind of a program to you so that you can really soar. Please take advantage of the incredible resources we have compiled here for you today. My staff member, Katie Farrick, who really is the mother of this program um, and who you really have got to applaud fiercely when she comes up, will give you an overview of all the workshops next. I wish I could be there with you today, but as you know, um, the government shutdown is not a trivial thing. And hopefully today in Washington, we'll make sure that the government doesn't shut down and that 140,000 uh, federal employees in California won't be out of work for starters. Um, anyway, um, I will leave you with one assignment today. Make it your goal to arrange for one follow-up conversation with someone you talked to today. You know, this day has been planned for you. Take advantage of every opportunity here to make the next chapter in your life and your career the best. Good luck to you. And now to Katie.